Hello, in this video I want to show you a little bit about image overlays in Google Earth. Basically, it allows you to take an image and put it onto the map in a specific location. Now to illustrate this, I'm going to show you how somebody's already done that with a collection of old maps and place them on the, the same location that they showed in ancient, or not ancient times, but it, going back several hundred years. Uh, this is in part of the layer in this lower part, some of the built-in layers in Google Earth. And if we go down here to Gallery, and I open up Gallery, you'll find one down here at the bottom called Rumsey Historical Maps. And if I click the box next to that, you'll notice these little colored uh, compass rows that appear on them. They indicate a place on the map where this image overlay has been placed. So let's uh, zoom in on uh, Washington, D.C., where if you get in close enough, we'll notice that there are actually two of them. And when I roll over one, one of them is Washington, D.C. in 1851. Another is Washington in 1861. Let's go ahead and click the one for 1851. And the, the balloon here tells me that uh, the map shows block numbers, wards, built up areas, and major buildings, also covering Georgetown. Now, if I want to see that map actually placed on Google Earth in the same location, all I have to do is click it. And it places that overlay. Now, this is, if I zoom in on this, I can see here's the Potomac River. And I'll zoom in a little closer, and I can see there's the President's House. We don't call it the White House in 1851. We call it the President's House. But what I find really interesting is down here where modern-day uh, Constitution Avenue runs here in front of the ellipse, you'll notice that the, the water from the Potomac runs right up here. Also over here is the Washington Monument, and uh, the uh, river runs right next to it, which it does not do in modern day. And here's the Smithsonian Institution. So you can get an idea of how uh, this area has changed uh, from the, the period that's shown by this particular map. Now, in addition to putting the map over the area, and you can see the blocks and some major buildings and everything here, notice that this particular map was also placed over here in, my play, in the Places section under Temporary Places. And with that selected, I also have this little button down here. And if I click on this, I get a slider bar. And the slider bar allows me to fade out the map so that I can actually see current day overlaid below there. And you can see how, for example, down here, the Lincoln Memorial is out in the middle of the Potomac River in 1851. And so this whole area here with the reflecting pool and, and um, the, and Haymes Point out here just didn't exist in that particular time. So it's all been filled in since. So this is a nice way to show a contrast between old maps and new maps. And so the slider bar here allows you to slide in and out and get an idea of where everything lies. Um, that map is just one of about 150 that belong to the collection of whoever Rumsey is. I'm not exactly sure. Um, there's also a link here uh, about the maps that will take you to the website where you can find thousands more. Now, if you wanted to use this map in your layer, it's available right now in, <coughs> excuse me, in the temporary places. And to keep that, all you have to do is click and drag it up into My Places, and it now becomes part of your, uh, your collection there. And it could be added to a layer that you then save. And so the same thing that we saw here with the, uh, the balloon would pop up in there and it would overlay the map on there. As I said, there are several hundred, uh, a couple hundred of, of these maps in Google Earth. You can see there's a number around New York City um, out here. One of the other interesting ones, if you're interested in that area, is this one, which is the Lewis and Clark map. This is the map that they actually laid out during their expedition in 1813 to 15, I believe. I'm not exactly sure on the dates. But anyway, that's an example of image overlays. You could bring your own map layer into it and kind of stretch it out to fit. But there are all these maps that are currently available here, not only here, but in other countries as well. Oh, some out in the middle of the ocean uh, and throughout Europe.
So give that a try. It's in the, uh, the layers section down here under gallery and under Rumsey historical maps. And have fun with that.